hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into this video so as you can see by the title and thumbnail i'm going to be doing some april fools nails because today is april fools and i just want to say happy april fools to everyone who is watching and yeah this is a crazy video so please make sure that you watch the entire video but to start off this nail set i'm just applying these extra long stiletto nail tips and i'm going to be applying them with some base coat gel so i'm just putting some base coat gel on my natural nails and also on the nail tip and holding it inside my light and then i'm going to give it a full 60 second cure once i finish and then i'm taking my nail cutter and i'm just going to cut these nails down to my desired length and then once i had the nails cut down to the length i wanted i'm just taking my melanie Susie nail drill and i'm going on the side of the nail just right above my natural nail and, and just filing out a little piece of that nail to create the spiral and then once i finish doing that one i'm going up just a little bit but on the opposite side of the nail and then i'm just going to keep alternating sides going up a little bit until i get to the top of the nail And then once I finish making those little indents in the nail, I'm just going to round out the corners just so that it becomes a little spiral just to give it like that spiral effect. And then once I finish rounding out the corners, I'm just going to do this for all of the nails. And filing this wasn't that hard. It didn't take me long to do, to do this at all. I actually enjoyed doing this. This is how it looks and I'm just going to repeat that step over all the nails. And then once I finished doing that on all the nails, this is how the nails are looking so far. And then I also took the step to remove the shine from my nails. And then go into the application. I'm going to be using not polished monomer. And I'm going to be using some not polished um, acrylics and this not polished brush. I believe it's a size 14 or 12. I want all this stuff in a giveaway. And I was so lucky and blessed to win because y'all know not polished stuff is not cheap. So yeah, I was super lucky, super blessed to have this. And for the design I went for, I wanted to do like something crazy, like something like not uniform at all. So I went for this like tie-dye. It's not necessarily a marble. I'm just picking up each color and like setting it down beside each other and like just kind of smearing it into the previous color. And I'm just doing like spots here and there. It's not uniform at all, y'all. I'm just putting it down where I feel like it would be best. And like random spots and then i'm just gonna do that for the entire nail and this not polished acrylic system is super good y'all i had no problems with this application like it was super smooth the colors weren't running at all like i didn't have to like try to catch the the beads because they were running everywhere and it was super um smooth once i applied it like i had no problems in my previous videos or off camera i've only practiced with model one's acrylic and that one is a very good brand to like start with if you're a beginner and you don't want to spend a lot of money that one is super affordable and like it is good to start with but the saying you get what you pay for this is a perfect example of that because these are not so cheap and the quality of it is super good oh my gosh why do i keep saying super so many times i don't know if y'all noticed that but i've been noticing it and it's been driving me crazy like why do I keep saying super so much? But yeah, these acrylics are good and 
I'm just going to continue doing this for all of the nails. And also, I just wanted to mention, a lot of people have noticed already, but I finally hit 1,000 subscribers here on YouTube. So that is just my halfway mark to being monetized. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who have subscribed to me, who have been watching my videos, supporting, liking the videos, commenting little sweet comments, and like some advice, tips, and stuff. Like I just want to thank all of you so much from the bottom of my heart and yeah i'm super appreciative of everyone because you don't have to sit here and watch me but you do anyway and i just appreciate that so so much and another thing i wanted to say was y'all i am super shocked like on tiktok like i barely post on tiktok and like you can see like from my the first few videos are like super trash and it's like i was just posting just to post like my finished products like i wasn't doing like a a real tiktok or whatever so one night me and my sister like we just decided to do like an aquarium nail because i wanted to do it here on my channel but i was like i want to practice first before i start recording and like start wasting my products and like not post it or whatever so one night me and my sister just decided to practice and i decided to pull out my phone and make a tiktok i'll insert the tiktok we decided to make a tiktok and i posted it one day one afternoon and i get back on three hours later and y'all my tiktok had blew up and went viral i had like 80 something thousand views on it and i had gained like over 2,000 subscribers i mean 2,000 followers and i was just like so in shock like i jumped up off my bed and i was like girl look at this like and it was just so crazy and then like i was just getting like so many loves and so many comments but some yeah, tiktok people are mean y'all like they are super mean like if y'all read through the comments you'll see exactly what i'm talking about i just keep tracking like the progress and like so many people are coming and now i have up to like 1 million likes i have like over 70,000 followers and i just think that is so crazy like to like i barely had even like a hundred followers on there the highest number of views my video had once before I put that up there it was like 400 and like it's just so crazy to go from like 400 views and 100 followers to like a million likes and 7,000 followers just within three days, two to three days and I just feel like it is so crazy. But yeah, I will insert it. Make sure you follow my TikTok. I will be posting more on there and hopefully some of them come over here. And yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys because I'm so happy with it. Like, I just can't believe it's happening to me out of all people. And I'm super blessed to have like a bigger audience so that they can see my work and come support me if they want to and stuff like that. And yeah, it is just so crazy. I can't stop saying it because it is so crazy. But I'm not going to babble anymore and just I'm going to let you finish watching this.
then once I finish my application with the color acrylic, I'm going to cap all of my nails with this Model Ones Clear. And it's not much to this. I just made sure that my beads weren't too dry or too runny. And I'm just going to encapsulate this design so when I go to file, I don't mess up the design of the nails. And then once I finish encapsulating the nails, these are how they're looking so far. And then next I'm going to take my Melanie Susie nail drill once again to like go along the, um, the edges of the nails to like kind of clean up this spiral. And also I'm going to file the surface of the nails to smooth it out. Although the, the um, application of these nails were already pretty smooth, so I didn't need to do a lot of filing. I just went over the surface and also around the cuticle area. And then once I do that, I'm going to go to the next step.
after filing, I'm just taking a paper towel and some 70% rubbing alcohol to wipe off all of the dust from over the surface and underneath the nail. And this is how the nails are looking. And I don't know what made me add this these rhinestones at the top but yeah i just went in with some top coat around the cuticle i believe it's my middle finger yes yeah, my middle finger i added some top coat to the cuticle area of my middle finger and i'm just going to add some of these um, rhinestones around the cuticle area and then i'm going to flash cure these in a light so that they do not move and then after being flash cured i'm just going to add a layer of top coat and adding this top coat took me entirely too long so I sped this up quite a bit just so it wouldn't be so long. But once I add this top coat I'm going to cure these in a light for 30 seconds and then add my cuticle oil. And then after I rub that into my cuticles, these are how the nails turn out. Comment down below right now and tell me what you guys think of these April Fool's Day nails. Such a crazy design. Like, you don't typically see people wear these. I actually have fun creating these nails. Like, I had so much fun. And I actually like how these turn out. Even though I won't wear these, like, on a daily basis just because the shape. The design, maybe, but the shape, no. But yeah, I had so much fun doing these. And as always, if you have made it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.